Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where transformation happens daily and knowledge is power. Yes indeed, thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table today, Tuesday, February 4th, 2020, and today we are going to do a daily numerology angel check-in yes i'm gonna check in with our angels and we're gonna do it with the numbers and as usual we're using the numbers from the energy oracle deck by sandra ann taylor and we're gonna top it off and close this message with some native heart healing messages from the native heart healing oracle by melanie ware beautiful deck all about the chakra and sacred geometry but it has some numbers on there so we're going to use that for some clarity confirmation and got some new numbers dice so we're going to toss the dice at the very end just for a cherry on the hot fudge sunday so the blue is the first number and the orange is the second number i'm a little stuffed up tonight <clears throat> so bear with my nasal uh accent i'll try and keep it to a medium level but anyway we've cleared the room cleared the air cleared the cards did some pre-shuffles, so let's just get right to the message. Please, my Divine Spirit and Energy Oracle, join us here at the table tonight for a numerology, numerology angel check-in. For those of us on this twin flame journey, yes, we're going to get a message tonight through the numbers. Let's see what the angels have to say. And see what the numbers are saying to us. I'm going to try and get a little bit more in-depth reading on these numbers uh, as we go along. And uh, numbers are, numbers are uh, definitely a language to be studied. And, you know, it's a universal language, numbers. It's, it's a galactic language language in fact numbers are so the numbers are numbers our personal numbers and our message numbers should not be overlooked and that's something down the line we're going to be looking into we're going to be you know offering some interesting package deals about your astrology chart and you know, some numbers, uh, we're going to get your life path number, your birth number, your name number. Um, you know, there's, there's, we're going to set up a little package deal that 1111 Butterfly Effect will be offering about your numbers and how they affect you on a day-to-day -day basis. So look out for that in the near future. Yes, a lot going on. It's probably all going to happen at once, as per usual. You know, the website has been under construction long enough. It's almost done. Uh, a lot of changes occurred. We had to change our service provider, etc. So a lot of things happened that uh, needed to be uh, adjusted, reorganized. And uh, I think we're now very, very close to launching officially launching our website and our and our shop our store 1111 butterfly effects store and uh also continuing forward in our tutorial series we are you know we've tried to do episode five a couple times but like i said in the last message we uploaded that been having a lot of a uh, technical difficulties and um, maybe it's the precursor for mercury retrograde you know maybe it's just uh, 
the shh, quiet before the surprise part of that. Who knows exactly? I'm not going to question it. I'm just trying to move forward through it. And with the help of my divine spirit and our oracles, we can do it. Yes, definitely. If I can do it, you can do it. So let's see what's going on here. Please, my divine spirit and the energy oracle offers up a three card set for our numerology angel check in message for this twin flame journey. All right, we got one card, two more, please. Three is all we need for this numerology check in. Like I said, numbers are important. They shouldn't be overlooked. All right. That's it. We got three. One, two, and three. All right. And <clears throat> what's on the bottom of the deck? Man holding heart. Man holding a heart. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? Is that a box full of chocolate there? Hmm, for Valentine's? 45, that breaks down to a 9. For some, that's a life path number. For others, it, it signifies, you know, we're close to closure. We're close to ending this cycle and beginning something new. So, let's see what we're looking at here. Action 17 breaks down to a 6. Angel of Love 49. That breaks down to 13, which breaks down to a 4. Twin Flame number. And what do we have on the end? Possible future? 1. Masculine. New Beginnings. Right? The sun. Very interesting here. Well, let's see. First we have 17. So we're going to look at that. You know, yin and yang, that's what it looks like to me. The twins running and playing. Maybe that's in the 5D. Action is taking place. Right? The backstory of it all. Right? There's something in the sky. It's a bird. Right there. There's a little bird in the sky, and that signifies the divine connection, divine twin flame connection. You know, whether it was in 3D or 5D, you know, things were coming together. Union was occurring in the 5D, I believe, because of the divine being present. Beautiful green meadows, playfulness beauty, complementing, black and white, yin and yang, right? The angels applaud you for staying positive and optimistic. They say that your optimism is warranted as your affirmation thoughts are coming true. Keep up the good work as you're on the right path. Okay, look at that. The white stallion is in the lead, leading the black stallion on the right path. And the divine is closely watching, right? Hovering close by, making sure we're sticking to the plan. We have our own will, certainly. Okay? But... For this collective, everybody seems to be doing 
their work. Sticking to the plan, having faith in the divine and in their higher self. That's right there. And because of that, we get this. The angel of love. But before we move forward, let's read what eight has to say. Because one plus seven, 17, breaks down to an eight. The number eight signifies abundance and prosperity. The endless loops, eight on its side, right? The endless loops in this number signify the infinite flow of money, time, ideas, or whatever else you require, especially for your life purpose. Which, is this your life purpose? Number nine, right? So, so far, so good, right? That is why we're moving forward into this action, the angel of love. Look at this beautiful angel holding that glimmering, shining heart. Looking at it in gratitude and appreciation. Look at that. She's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. But yes, it's true. I'm holding it right here in my hands. Right? The angel of love is here. And you have been gifted a loving heart. 49. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It's an odd number. You know? Odd numbers are masculine numbers. The angels urge you to get to work on your major goals and life purpose without delay. Ask them to help you with the ideas, encourage you, and motivate you. You know, nothing's going to come falling out of the sky, so to speak, right? I mean, it potentially could fall out of the sky, but you still got to go out of your house, outside your comfort zone, to find it, to see it, to get it, right? So, 49 breaks down to uh, 13. The ascended masters such as Jesus, Kuan Yin, and so on are with you, helping you maintain a positive outlook. The number 13 signifies that female ascended masters and goddesses are assisting you in staying positive. What you think in your mind, you will hold in your hand. Okay? So... Put your intentions out there. Send them out to the universe, to your creator, to your guys, your ascended masters. Ask them for help. Okay? So that you can receive your abundance. The sun. New beginning. Completion. With your masculine divine feminines. Look at her in there. Right? Basking in the glory of her son. Her masculine. Her divine masculine. Right? Look at all that green. All that heart chakra. You know, immersed in the water. All that emotion. Good stuff. And one. New beginnings. Right? Right? But before we do that, 13, that breaks down one more time to a four. The angels are with you. They send you the number four to reassure you that they've heard your prayers and are helping you. Okay, like I said, send out your intentions to the universe. Say your prayers to your creator, your god or goddesses, right? 
so that this can happen. Number one, stay positive. Everything you're thinking about right now is coming true. So be sure that you're only thinking about what you desire. What you think in your mind, you will hold in your hand. So what is it that you, what is your heart's desire? Right? You're going to get it. If you keep doing what you're doing. If you follow the divine plan, divine feminine and divine masculine, those of you who are on this twin flame journey, I mean, that's how it works. Psh, period. Okay? <clears throat> 45, the angels are helping you through a positive life change. Are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to take that step, that leap of faith, and move forward into your destiny? Which includes your divine connection, your divine partner, your divine twin flame. Right? 45. Oh my, 45, oh my, the angels are helping you through positive life change. That breaks down to a nine. Get to work like worker again, okay? But number nine means that you've completed all of the prerequisites to achieve your life purpose. Stop procrastinating it as it is time to start taking action steps. Every baby step is use useful, right? <laughs> Every baby step. That's right. So let go. Let it flow. Have no fear. Your angels are here. Your angel of love. For one, your ascended masters, your guardians, your creator. Okay? Indeed. You know? Let's see what we got here. Number nine is selflessness and compassion, encompassing a love for all. It desires to apply its energy to universal service. It bestow, bestows an impersonal but just view of life, one that is generous, benevolent, and patient. This is the artist and thinker who has developed skills through the preceding cycles and is now ready to share his or her knowledge with the rest of the world. You're ready, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Okay? You're ready, Divine Masculine. Right here, the Sun. Masculine. You're ready. You're ready. This is all about being ready, okay? <laughs> Didn't we just go through this? Exactly, okay? Brings you to this point. The angel of love, because you're allowing things to happen. You're accepting this twin flame journey. You're aligning with divine. You're attracting your heart's desires, and that is your abundance. Right? Right there. Your abundance, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay? Right there. My goodness. Pretty black and white here. 
you know? Number one, like I said, is masculine, the yang. It's the pioneer striking out alone, seeking the experience, you know, but receiving your heart's desires, okay? You decide you are in charge, okay? It's your will, your choice. But are you going to choose to walk away from your destiny and abundance? Is that a good choice for you? Is that for your highest good, for the highest good of all in this divine place we're at, right? In, it's in your hands, Divine Masculine, right, at this moment, okay? As far as moving forward in this Divine Connection. Because the Divine Feminine is ready. Are you ready, Divine Masculine? That's what the numbers are saying. The numbers are saying everybody's ready, okay? Yeah, it's about time, right? It's about flipping time. Well, you've been patient, you've been tolerant, you've done your service. It's time for you, right? Yeah, let's just take a quick look at the sun. Hmm. See if I can find it real quick. The sun. <laughs> well, I'm not going to find it really quickly, but let me just try. Let me just try. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to keep moving forward on this. Okay. Yeah, uh, I should have I should have uh bookmarked the page that I wanted to focus on. Here we go. The sun. That's what I wanted to read. Okay? The sun means face or <laughs> continents. Face implies head, one who takes the lead and as the head of the organization. This card also brings to a head all the potencies of the life power. The key word is regeneration. We renew our bodies when we renew our minds. We renew our bodies when we renew our minds. Okay. Study the picture. Look where she's at. Under the sun. Basking in the sun rays. In the sunlight. Right? Transforming. Uh-huh. Sun brings light and life. It symbolizes divinity and divine power. <clears throat> you know, this is where we adjust things. Because it's powerful here. Okay, we can manifest. So we need to be careful what our intentions are. You know, what we think in our mind, we will hold in our hand. So keep your thoughts pure and clean, and you're going to end up winning. Right? Okay. Yeah, I should have read a little bit more about that, but it's all right. It's okay. So let's add to it 
just for some quick clarity about this plan that we're following. Okay? And because the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are following, you know, we're at this point. This is where we're at. The silence before the surprise. And some of you are about to get the surprise. You know? Some of you uh, are a little bit behind. And some of you have just recently gotten wind of the surprise. It's, it's within reach. You're seeing it, okay? So, what is it that might be blocking us or we need to focus on eliminate add to heal anything for this completion and new beginning to move forward it's moving forward most definitely okay because look man holding heart okay so, my Divine Spirit and Native Heart Healing Oracle, please offer us up some clarity confirmation about is there anything further we need to clear up, focus on, think about for this Twin Flame connection and the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Is there anything that is being overlooked, missed, or misunderstood? Or is all well. So give us a number to add to this message for clarity and confirmation for February 4th, 2020. Here we go. My Divine Spirit and Native Healing Oracle. Oop, look at that. Look at all that green. Star Child. Without a doubt. Okay, we're talking divine here. Okay, without a doubt. And that's the number three, okay? Definitely. And what's on the bottom of the deck there? Silver Wolf, 13, which breaks down to a four, which is a twin flame number, okay? Star Child, look at all that green, all that heart chakra. Huh? Yep, definite healing has taken place. And, you know, this is definitely a divine connection because we're talking about Star Child here. Star Children. Okay? And this Twin Flame journey is full of Light beings and star child, children, indigo children. And, you know, if you're really serious about this twin flame journey, then, you know, you wouldn't be all involved and in worrying about all that drama and BS. You wouldn't be having it. And if you're not feeling well and you're sick and you're having these up and down tower moments and these teeter tot emotions, and it's because of that. Okay? This healing Mandela brings forth guidance on the star children who are and have been and will continue to grace our earth. Our planet is receiving unprecedented numbers of highly evolved star children who are anchoring love within and upon the earthly realm. Children are being their whole selves as never witnessed before, as they live life in accord with their innate wisdom. Open hearts and open minds are called for as you allow these children to lead the way, paving the future with the mortar of love and bricks of silver and gold. Okay, you know, I hear a lot about how these... The older generation is, you know, subjecting the millennials on down. You know, Generation X is truly forgotten, and the millennials all all the way down to are very the born 
children being born today. You know, are living in a time where we, and let's say my generation, or let's even go with, you know, the, the millennials, the beginning of the millennials who were born under the digital age, okay? They barely remember a dial phone, but their parents remember dial phones. Their parents remember black and white TV. Their parents remember us landing on the moon, okay? <clears throat> I'm digressing a little bit, but my point is is that this is a divine connection, without a doubt, okay? Light beings and star children are being, are, are the ones involved in this twin flame journey. And if you're serious about it, then, you know, you'll be listening a little bit more attentively, okay? If you have children, this Mandela has come to remind you of the advanced souls you share your journey with and to encourage you to complete their following healing exercise. Meditate with your children. Integrate and stabilize their energy fields as well as to remember their soul's chosen path and their role as teacher. The earthly realm can come as a shock to many of them as they have never felt the planet in such a state before. The seven directions, two solstices, two equinoxes are linked with every being, but the star children are instinctively more aligned than those who have come before them. It's like that young girl from, where is she from? I forget, Germany, Holland, somewhere over there, and, you know, spoke to the world about global warming and, and, you know, that young lady is definitely a star child. Okay? It's a perfect example of what they're talking about right here. <clears throat> the children, the star children are symbolic of both the stars and humanity's earliest attempts to understand and communicate the order of unity inherent in creation. It's like the old saying, you know, everything that we were taught maybe just isn't so, Okay? Right? Because like back in the day, thousands of years ago, women had no rights. People of color had no rights. It was just white men who had rights. But we won't digress down that train track, okay? Because that'll be a big train wreck. You know, let's get back to the reading. Let's get back to this message. And what we're looking at here is this is a divine connection. Okay. With lots of love. Look at all that green. And it involves light beings and star children. Okay. Without a doubt, this is a divine connection. Yin and yang. Okay. Right there. Twin flame. Right. And what do we have? A three. The Ascended Masters are helping. Usually this means an Ascended Master you feel close to. For example, like Jesus, Kuan Yin, a saint, or some other religious or spiritual figure is with you. Helping you along your twin flame journey. It could be a spirit animal. Okay? Your spirit guide. Are you paying attention? Because there's another four. Thirteen breaks down to a four, right? Twin flame number. The signs are all around you, really. Are we paying attention? Or are we making this more difficult for us? This journey it should not be that difficult. And unless you're not doing your work, okay, and you from childhood forward have had so much trauma and drama in your life that there's so much to fix and heal from that it's taking you a little longer than some. But don't give up. Don't lose hope 
in the journey, okay? Right? Because if you continue to move forward, this is what will take place. For those of you in the collection, if this in 5D hasn't taken place, then you're not really doing the work. Something isn't being done. I think for the majority of the collective that I channel messages for, you are at this stage. You are running free and wild together in the 5D. Yin and yang. Black and white, right? That's bringing this forward, the angel of love. Which will create this possibility because what you think in your mind, you hold in your hand. New beginnings right there. Three is the generative number, partly because its shape suggests that the male genitals and sexual union. Well, three doesn't remind me of that, does it? You? Three? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> now, union, yeah, I could guess that because the three and the three, right? Well, it makes sense because one and two, male and female, make three. <laughs> the offspring. Oh, my goodness. Star child. Offspring. Okay. Now it's coming. You know, all of this could bring in a new, very new, highly established connection that produces a star child. So that's a possibility for some. And it's very interesting. Three is the number of triangles. All right. Three. <clears throat> a triangle pointing upwards represents the male sexuality and fire. Fire sign. Triangle pointing downwards represented represents the female sexuality and water. Very interesting. Fire and water do mix. Huh? In number three. It's a holy number. In the Christian... Uh, Laura, it's the whole, the number of the Trinity, right? In Celtic religions, it's the number of the triple gods. In Hindu, Hinduism as well. Well, <clears throat> before I muck this message up anymore... I think I'm going to roll the dice and end this nice numerology angel message on a positive note. Can't get any more positive than this, okay? Because of the actions we're taking, it's bringing forward angel of love, you know, new beginning. With the man holding the heart. Right? <laughs> I guess that was some confirmation. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some dice rolled here. Give us our last message of confirmation regarding this twin flame journey and the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine on this Twin Flame journey. You know, if any kind of healing needs to take place, it's in the heart. And I think that's going to take place when union occurs. We have healed everything we can heal up to this point. 
now it's time to heal us together. Right? The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, if you feel there is something that needs to be healed and you've done all the work, what's left will be healed in union. So union needs to take place. Union is the next step. All right. 62 is what we got here. And that breaks down to an 8. And put 8 on its side. And what do you got? Mm -hmm -hmm. You got infinite eternal love is what you got. 62. Keep believing that the details of your life are working out in miraculous ways. Your faith opens the door for miracles. 62. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Yeah, not great, but okay. I love this journey. Get it? Don't stop believing, journey. Okay, well, think about that one. Anyway, we got eight here again. Eight signifies abundance and prosperity, the endless loops. And this number signifies an infinite flow of money, time, ideas, or whatever else you require, especially for your life purpose, right? To be happy. To live happily ever after, maybe? And that includes money, time, and ideas, and whatever you require. Right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We have an eight right there. Another eight right here to end with. We began with an eight. We're ending with an eight. We got four here. Yeah, I'd say we're in great shape, you guys. Hmm? Six, don't worry or obsess about material items, including money. Worry lowers the effectiveness of your prayer, prayers. Fortunately, the angels can answer your prayers if you ask them. Right? Prayers are being answered here. Stay, keep the faith. Number two, everything's fine and will continue to be so. Keep believing. Don't stop believing, right? Especially since your feelings of hope lead to more positive outcomes. The angels can buoy your faith if you'll ask them for help. Okay? That's simple. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just see what number eight has to say for itself, right? Away from worldly matters, the number eight on its side is... The Lemonscape, the magical number of infinity. This number also leads to the next life. The Eightfold Path of Buddhism leads away from the material life. Into what? Hmm. Your divine destiny. That's what. In numerological terms, the practical aspects of eight are stressed, not the escape from the world. People with many eights in their numerological makeup tend to be materialistic, worldly, and hardworking. Mm. However, what they acquire, they may lose, unfortunately, if they're not paying attention. So pay attention. Very interesting. Something to think about. Something to not look... You know, a gift horse in the mouth, right?
Number eight is also about recognition and financial restore, re rewards, expansion, growth. You know, you reap what you sow. You, <clears throat> what you think in your mind, you hold in your hand. Right? I think we're done here. On that note, I hope something resonates for you. And if you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to help continue, uh, to help us continue down this twin flame journey path and share our wisdom and experiences with you all and uh, the wisdom of the oracles and my divine spirit and our creator because that's what it boils down to right indeed it's happening okay this is the sh before the surprise right are you ready are you ready for eternal infinite happiness because that's what we're looking at here right Okay, again, awesome numerology, angel, oracle message. Thank you all. Thank, thank you, my divine spirit, and thank you, energy oracle and the native heart healing oracle for joining us here at the table for today's message today, February 4th, 2020. Again, take good care of you. You are the sacred temple star child you yes you until next time bye bye